after undergoing the program you will be not only equipped with the mindset to lead teams and departments as a fintech leader but you will also have the skill set plus understanding of tools that are required for your success in the financial world Hi everyone welcome to this webinar on the IIM Vishakhapatnam program on fintech i extend my warm welcome to all of you who are evaluating the program and i hope that over the next uh, 20 25 minutes as we can proceed with the webinar you will not only get insights about this program but you will also understand that how this program can be transformational for your career and how this program can help you move to the top leadership positions in fintech overall as an industry which is growing exponentially as we speak right now so before i jump into the webinar let me quickly introduce myself my name is manav i am the founder and ceo of acradian and what i will do in this webinar is cover uh, go through the entire program in a step by step way firstly i will cover the program overview who is this program for second i'll cover the program curriculum i'll take some time in covering this section because this is really important third i will cover the usps of the program fourth i will cover the other parts like campus immersion and executive alumni and fifth i will cover the application process and admission process for the program so let's begin the webinar so this program is called the pg certificate program in fintech blockchain and risk management it is a 11 month program it's online made for working professionals and it is delivered directly by top faculty from one of the most premier management institutions in india which is iim vishakhapatnam the program di- director is dr amit shankar who is a pioneer in the world of finance and he has made this program with one vision to make the next generation of fintech leaders for india now let's look at who this program is for now this program is for you if you work in finance as an industry number one if you work in a for example bank like icici or you work in a foreign bank like city bank hsbc jp morgan etc if this program is for you if you work in a bank this program is for you if you work in a technology company and you are working for a bank for example you might might be working in accenture tcs etc and you are working for a bank uh, as a client for example wells fargo uh, you you could be working in one of the regulatory bodies you could be working in let's say rbi or you could be working in sebi etc or you could be from a non fintech background or as well and you would might be thinking of transitioning into finance and fintech as a industry if you belong to any of these categories or if you belong to a one more category which is you might be a leader or you might be a startup entrepreneur who is looking to improve your understanding of fintech overall so that your fintech company or startup is better better able to understand the nuances of this rapidly changing field this program is also for you now what this program covers is that this is a beautifully designed program which will help you do three things first it will introduce you to fintech second it will help you understand fintech on an advanced level because our goal here is not to just teach you fintech at a basic level but also help you go to the advanced level and more importantly to help you the business help you understand the business application of fintech because understanding that is important for your transformation to moving to a leadership role uh, in fintech as an industry before i go to the program curriculum let's look at the kind of designations you can expect to see will be a part of this uh, the cohort that you will be part of you will possibly see people with these designation this is for data analyst senior managers you could be a director of risk management you could be a consultant you could be a tech lead you could be a relationship manager in a bank or you could be a tech product manager who in fintech etc irrespective of what designation you are currently in you will benefit immensely from this program now let me take you through the program syllabus now the key usp of this program is the syllabus right now in india there is hardly any program that is as innovative as this program this is divided into three pillars each pillar builds upon the previous pillar the first pillar is fundamentals of fintech in this pillar you'll be learning 
the key principles of fintech ecosystem you will be a deep diving into fintech ecosystem you will be learning fintech eco typology you will be learning the latest trends and future of fintech you would know that fintech overall with digital transformation banking is changing every few years you will be learning about the latest trends that you might not be aware about and you will be learning where about the future of fintech as well and you will be learning it from a opportunities and challenges for, uh, ecosystem we have to for example remember that fintech is not just about technology it is about challenges that traditional financial services organizations face and how technology can overcome those challenges yeah so this is what you'll be learning in module 1 module 2 is the very important module of pillar 1 which is payment technology here you'll have Get, get gather understanding of digital banking system in india you will understand rtgs for example we all transact through rtgs or neft a lot of time we don't know the difference between the two things we just know about the um, limit how do these systems work understanding that is really important you will be learning consumer and retail uh, payments you will be learning digital payment system you will be learning payment architecture and technology you will be learning about mobile wallet upi imps as well and more importantly you'll be learning digital finance services essentially everything to deal with payments how digital banking happens right and all the ways in which happens you'll be learning that module 3 of the uh, program you will be learning financial risk management you would know that today until unless you do not understand the risk associated with uh, banking you cannot succeed you need to know operational risk credit risk you need to know risk mitigation strategy and you need to know different ways in which credit scoring etc is done uh, to ensure that you are able to make more informed strategies to deal with risk management module 4 after this you will be focusing on lending technologies now there are various interesting lending technologies that are emerging which banks are trying to adopt and some banks are facing headwinds because of that these these are p2b lending these are crowdfunding this is a bnpl you would have heard about this very recently quite a lot buy now pay later services you would have heard about new banks getting market share and you would have heard about msc and me banks how their uh, asset Uh, books are increasing because of the technology innovation that they are bringing into place you will be learning lending technology inside out so this is where you will be ending pillar 1 wherein you would have learned the basics of financial risk management payment technology fintech and lending technology now we'll move to the next part which is blockchain as you would know blockchain has proven to be transformational for finance as an industry think about bitcoin right but blockchain is not just bitcoin bitcoin is an application of blockchain but blockchain has a lot of very powerful transformative applications in finance as an industry in module 5 firstly you'll be learning ai and machine learning you would know fintech finance industry because there is money has to use a lot of ai to prevent frauds to prevent money laundering to do real world practical application of ai and machine learning to ensure that customers sensitive data does not get exposed so you will be learning ai and ml you will be learning cloud computing considering that lot of industries are moving to cloud but finance because of the regulatory challenges involved right need to be more cautious about cloud and need to as a fintech leader you need to have understanding of cloud technology this is what you will be learning here module 7 you will be learning blockchain technology and you would see the maximum number of topics you have in the program are in this term itself right from a dlt which is distributed ledger technology to trust frameworks to building to understanding smart contracts to decentralized applications to nfts and to decentralized finance which is defi a lot a lot a lot is changing in the fintech world and tomorrow's banks neo banks digital banks nbfcs or anywhere wherein there is some kind of transactions happening need will be possibly using blockchain in some other other way you will be learning blockchain in this term the last term of the second pillar is data and cyber security issues as i mentioned 
since there are financial transaction and since there the probability of frauds and the probability of cyber security breaches are the maximum in this industry as compared to any other industry because there is real money sitting in bank accounts and that's why you will be learning here in module 8 cyber security uh, you will be doing you will be learning data analytics you will be learning digital identity verification you will be learning kyc etc the whole idea is that if you want to implement these systems in your own organization as a fintech manager leader or a CXO, you need to be aware about each one of these pieces and that's what you'll be learning in module 8. Now this is where pillar 2 will end and we'll start with the most exciting pillar which is pillar 3 which is fintech for business. Now here you'll be learning the applications of fintech in different different areas. Module 9 is RegTech. RegTech stands for regulatory, regulatory technology. You'll be learning for example how do you uh, deal with regulatory technology challenges. You will be learning smart regulation, fraud detection, and you will be learning how to build strong financial infrastructure and how to do robotic process automation for regulatory uh, for ensuring strong application of regulatory technology. Module 10 focuses on insurance technology. Right in this, you will be focusing on learning what all tools and technologies are available to you to you to ensure that from insurance point of view you are uh, at the top of your game you will be learning that in the uh, module 10 module 11 will be wealth technology as you would uh, be aware those of you in fintech with robo advisory and with this these neo uh, uh, digital brokers things are changing fast how do you do wealth management at scale in fintech that is the future and that is where wealth technology will come into picture and finally you will be moving you'll be learning in module 10 the program will wrap up with fintech startups you need to be aware about all of the startups and the kind of work that they are doing to ensure that you are able to adopt the best practices from there uh, and learn from how these startups are building the next billion dollar product You'll be learning design thinking, you'll be learning digital strategy and gamification, and you'll be learning innovation as well through these startups. So these are uh, the modules and pillars of the program. I hope you would have loved the curriculum. I hope you would have seen the depth of the curriculum and I hope that you can envision that after undergoing the program, you will be not only equipped with the mindset to lead teams and departments as a fintech leader but you will also have the skill set plus understanding of tools that are required for your success in the financial world finally you will be undergoing a capstone project towards the end which will basically will be a culmination of all that you have learned over the 11 months in a capstone project that you will integrate all the topics in now that is about the curriculum. I hope you would have loved the curriculum of the program and I hope you are excited about undergoing this journey. Now let me talk a little about the USP, one key USP of the program which is transformative simulation. In this program, you will not only be sitting in the classes and listening to lectures, you will also be participating in simulation. There are three simulations in the program. One is a blockchain simulations, Right. Second is a DeFi decentralized finance trading simulation and third is regulatory compliance simulation. Think about it. Whatever you are learning, you are actually applying it in simulations. That means that by the time you are completed the program, you are able to apply back in the fintech industry and back in your organization. Now let's move to the third component of the program, which is campus immersion. The beauty of this program is that it is not only from one of the top management institutions in India, but you will actually get to attend live lectures, participate in simulation and undergo validatory ceremony at the prestigious IIM Vishakhapatnam campus. You will not only learn, but you will also get an opportunity to network with your peers and interact with the faculty. And the best part is the fee for the campus immersion is included in the program fee. You don't have to pay anything separately for your accommodation at the campus. Now, how 
this program is next generational you will be able to see from the welcome kit also you will receive a welcome kit in the program at the beginning itself the whole idea of the welcome kit is as you do this program you should be able to live the ethos and imbibe the values of excellence of an iim iim stands for excellence for the top management institution and that's why they are the top management institutions in india and the this welcome kit which is a bag which is a notebook and a water bottle will serve as a reminder every day to you that you are on a different journey over the next 12 months and over the, and your journey after this 12 months will be very different from what it is right now now let's move to the next part of the webinar which is executive i am alumni status i hope you would have been uh, enjoying the webinar so far and all the points that i've covered but i feel that this pro this is one long term value of the program that you'll possibly uh, cherish the most which is the executive alumni status of i am vishakhapatnam once you complete the program successfully not only will you get an executive alumni status but you'll also get an email address personalized email address at the rate i am vishakhapatnam etc for lifetime which in itself can prove a game changer for you because when for example i see an email address from someone who is from an iim or isp or harvard or someone that totally can open up a lot of opportunities for you over a long period of time and not only are you getting a uh, alumni status you'll also have you an identity card through this identity card you can enter i am we can visit i am vishakhapatnam campus even post completion of the program the connection and the network stays throughout a lifetime finally let's move to the fifth part of the program which is the admission process to complete the admission process go to imv.agradian.com the portal will ask you you'll have to log in with your account details if you have not logged in if you create your account uh, first your password will come in your email address log in and then fill up your details it will ask you for your if you are for basic details like work experience highest qualification and then you will need to apply for the program by submitting an application fee on successful payment of the application fee and successful application you will get a confirmation email and a provisional letter will be released if you meet the eligibility criteria however the provisional letter is not a guaranteed acceptance letter the after you submit the provisional letter after you get the provisional letter and you complete the document submission as a proof that you meet the eligibility criteria and and once you complete the rest of the steps fill full fee payment etc your place in the program will be secured as you would be able to see this program is transformational and i hope that as you look forward to building a long term career in fintech as an industry and in finance as an industry this program will prove a game changer for your career and will help you unlock opportunities to go to 5 7 and 10 levels above where you are at the moment i look forward to welcoming you in the program and if you have any questions about the program about the admission process we our team is happy to help you with any questions that you might have thank you so much and wish you all the best as you embark on this transformational journey of becoming a fintech leader for india and for the world